We are, Cream Puff and I are in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. This is um, Mirror Lake is right over here. And it's just a beautiful scene. Um, and then we are in the garden area right here. Um, beautiful grass, a lot of vegetation and whatnot. Deer, anything you want to say? Good morning, everyone. I want to just welcome each and every one of you to the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. And it has been. It's been a great time. We've been uh, receiving powerful, powerful words from the Lord. And, you know, this morning, I just want to share with you the fact that here we are in this beautiful area. Um, obviously, a lot of this is man-made and man-taken care of and even man-conserved. And the thing is, is, um, you know, it, it, it makes for a beautiful thing. The, the life around here, there's vegetation, there's, uh, there, there's turtles, and there's uh, fish behind me in this little pond. But the thing is, that's what all man will conserve. But, you know, this morning as we prepare to partake in the institution of communion, you know, something that the Lord has been stirring up, and many of you know that life is no longer taken seriously here in America. But I want to I want to just remind you, you're in a place where the, the life that God has given is valued, where the word God has given is valued, where the spirit that God has breathed into us is valued. And the thing is, and so today we are, we are going to be joining um, hundreds, if not thousands of churches across the nation as we stand together, united, declaring that, that life matters, declaring that the laws of this land will not dictate the way I live my life and the way I believe. And so today we will um, be partaking in communion as many churches, and I believe the church we are in this morning, we will all also be partaking in the institution of communion or the Lord's Supper. And the reason I bring this up today as we talk about this life in this beautiful place where we are is because man will conserve life in this type of way and it will make things beautiful and make things lovely. But you know what? Jesus is the ultimate giver of life and it's by Jesus' body being broken and by his blood being shed that we receive life. So today, as you partake in the institution of communion, I just pray that it would be a blessing and that you would, as the word of God says, do this in remembrance of him. And again, you know, we live in a land where so much darkness is being legislated and, 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 you know, morality is being outlawed and they call what is good evil and what is evil good. But you know what? I believe God is getting ready to do something. God is getting ready to pour out his spirit in an even greater measure because where sin abounds, grace abounds that much more. So I want to encourage you today as you partake in this institution, in the Lord's Supper, that you would do this, examining yourself and doing this in remembrance of of the one who bought your life, who died that you could have it. In Jesus' name, I just want to thank you for taking a minute. And uh, God bless you, and we will see you soon.